Hello, this is unit seven, our plans for the weekend. Listen and repeat. What are you doing this weekend? Again, what are you doing this weekend? So this weekend, I'm studying Korean with my tutor on Friday night and I'm meeting a new tutor tomorrow to study business and I'm going shopping at Home Plus and I'm going hiking on Sunday. I'm doing lots of things. How about you? What are you doing? So you can pause the video and talk about <clears throat> what you're doing this weekend um, alone or with a partner. All right. And now the vocabulary, listen and repeat. Going shopping. Doing homework. Working. Playing computer games. Going to the movies. Going to the gym. Hanging out with my friends. Visiting my parents. All right, and now I'll pause the video, pause the video and fill in the blanks with the vocabulary. All right, here are the answers. So I'm gonna ask the question, what are you doing this weekend? And you're gonna give me a complete sentence for each answer. I'm going shopping, I'm doing homework. All right, here we go. Number one, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the movies. Number two, what are you doing this weekend? I'm doing homework, yay. <laughs> Number three, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the gym. Number four, what are you doing this weekend? I'm hanging out. with my friends. So make sure you don't say I'm playing with my friends. That's what children do. You can say I'm playing a game with my friends, but not playing with my friends. Number five, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going shopping. Number six, what are you doing this weekend? I'm playing computer games. Number seven, what are you doing this weekend? I'm working. So in English, you don't need to say, I'm going to my part-time job or I'm working part-time. You can just say I'm working. It doesn't matter if it's a part-time job or a full-time job. You normally don't need to say part-time job. All right, and number eight, what are you doing this weekend? I'm visiting my grandparents. Good. And now the dialogue, listen and repeat. So Kim, what are you doing this weekend? Anything special? Yeah, I'm working all day Saturday as usual. Oh, that's too bad. I want to hang out. Are you doing anything on Sunday? No, not really. How about you? I'm going to the movies. Do you want to go with me? Sure, that sounds fun. I'll text you on Saturday about Sunday. Okay, now you can pause the video and practice this with a partner and change the names and information or you can do it with me. If you're doing it with me, I'm gonna go first and we're gonna change the names and information and then switch and do it again. All right, here we go. So George, <clears throat> what are you doing tonight? Anything special? 
Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to have dinner with you. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Um, I'm going hiking and then I'm gonna go to a restaurant. Do you wanna go with me? Okay, and now switch, you're first, I'm second. Yeah, I'm studying Korean with my tutor tonight. Uh, no, I don't think so. How about you? Yeah, that sounds fun. I'll text you. We can meet and hang out. All right, good. And now pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. The sound is th. So look at my mouth carefully. Th. The. This. That. Thing. With. Anything. Thursday. Month. So what am I doing with my mouth? What am I using? The. Yeah, I'm using my tongue. Your tongue has to come out. Okay. Just like in the picture here. There are actually two different TH sounds. One is <clears throat> voiced, and one is unvoiced. So like this, this, that, the, and th thing. But right now we're just focusing on sticking our tongue out. So listen and repeat. Th the, this, that, thing, with, anything, Thursday, month good and now the conversation so listen and repeat what are you doing this weekend when are you going to visit your grandparents are you going to do anything after class what are you going to do this winter vacation all right and now let's practice it. You ask me the questions first and some follow-up questions, and then I'll switch. All right. Mm, I'm going shopping tomorrow. I'm going to go to Home Plus. Um, buying food and maybe a table, maybe some other things. How about you? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, really? And when are you going to meet your friends? And where are your friends? Where are you and your friends going? Oh, what else are you doing this weekend? What are you going to do this winter vacation? Oh, and when are you doing that? And who are you doing that with? Um, me, I'm just going to stay in Korea and work on some things. Um, I'm making videos. I'm going hiking. I'm, I'm doing a lot of things this winter. Um, I usually go hiking here in Jure. All right, good. So now the grammar, we're using the present progressive for the future. Sometimes we say will, sometimes we say be going to, sometimes we just use the present progressive. Um, there are differences, but right now we're focusing on just using the present progressive, such as I'm going to have lunch after class. Mary is gonna travel. <clears throat> Uh, to Vietnam next summer. It should actually be Mary is <clears throat> traveling. <laughs> to Vietnam, and this should actually be I'm um, having 
lunch after class. And this should actually be, my father is coming home. <laughs> I get so used to saying be going to because that's what we normally say. Um, but you can also use this form. So I'm having lunch after class. Mary's traveling to Vietnam next summer. My father's coming home from work at 8 a.m. So the, these sentences <clears throat> um, have verbs in the present progressive form and they're referring to the future after class next summer at 8 p.m. So because it's the because it's the present progressive form, you need be and a verb with ing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's uh, finish this sentence chart, this substitution table. So we have positive sentences. I'm working this weekend. Questions, am I working this weekend? You're talking to your boss, maybe. Negative sentences, I'm not working this weekend. So let's continue with you. I'm working. You're working this weekend. Am I working this weekend? You are you working this weekend? I'm not working this weekend. You're not working this weekend. He or she, right? He's working this weekend. Is he working this weekend? So you put the auxiliary verb is first. He's not working this weekend. And then choose something else. They, they're working this weekend. Is or are they working this weekend? They aren't working this weekend. Good. And <clears throat> this part is um, an activity that we did in class. It's a mingling exercise. Um, are you doing anything on Saturday? Are you doing anything else? What are you doing after that? Do you wanna hang out? What time do you wanna meet? So this is something you, you can do with a group and then you can write the names of the people that you're gonna meet, real <laughs> or imaginary. It can be something you're really gonna do or, or imaginary and what you're doing and when you're doing it. So Dohyun and I, we're meeting at a cafe next weekend, all right? Either way, um, you can go back and practice the conversation part, again, on your own or with a partner, now that we've looked at the grammar. Okay, and don't forget the homework. Write a paragraph with five or six sentences about your plans for the weekend or the winter or whenever and use the present progressive for the future. Um, a paragraph looks like this. You write from left to right, not just down. Okay, and then put your paragraph here on E-class. All right, if you have questions or comments, leave them below or send me a message. Thanks for watching and have a great day.